Our Weed of the Week is Lead Plant. Well, when we think about weeds, we, we think, wow, this is a bad thing and, and we absolutely got to get it out or it's a disaster. And a lot of times where we see lead plant is in grasses. So we see it in pastures and ditches and, and those kinds of areas. Well, back in the day, as the settlers were coming west across the country, when they saw lead plant, they got excited for a couple of reasons. One, livestock like to eat it. It's high in protein. So that's a good thing. It's one of those plants that supports nodules so it can make its own nitrogen. So that's a good thing in prairie restoration today, for example. The other thing is it likes to grow in good ground. So when the settlers saw, hey, there's lead plant growing there, it doesn't grow in poor ground. It must be good. This could be a good place to stop. Lead plant is a perennial shrub. It looks a lot like hemp sesbania when it's small. The big thing with this lead plant is, yeah, it's really not that bad an issue and not a big thing that, oh, we say, hey, we've got a noxious weed here, we have to get it eliminated. But nevertheless, if it's growing out in your corn or soybean or wheat field, you do want to get it under control. All right, if it happened to be in a cornfield, I would choose dicamba and Roundup. Those would be good options. In soybeans, uh, wow. I would start with a burn down with Roundup and Sharpen. That kind of thing would be a really good treatment or Gramoxone. Uh, Post-emerge, I don't think we have a real great answer for lead plant and other than if you could use Roundup and Roundup crops or Liberty and Liberty Link crops. Well, the thing is you're not going to find a lot of products that are labeled for lead plant because it's not typically a big issue out in crops. But nevertheless, if I had a wheat field that had some lead plant, I'd try some sharpen down, follow with husky post-emerge. All right, but out in pastures and rangeland, this is where we see it a lot. Uh, I'd look at things like Milestone and especially Tordon as being good options. You may look at a product that has a, a combination that has some Tordon in it with something else as a way to stop lead plant once and for all. That's it for our Weed of the Week lead plant, but stay tuned, Iron Talk is coming up next. <music>